everyone, this is Ledbetter 17P. Today we have a juice review for you from, uh, let's see, get the card the right way, Deep Blue Juice Company, once again. This was a surprise package. Uh, did not know this one was being sent out to me for a review. Uh, it says, established 2014, made in Texas. Uh, their website is uh, deepbluejuice.com. And they also have their uh, Facebook link, their Instagram, their Twitter, and their Pinterest link. And they have a wholesale email all on the back of their card right here. There's the back side of their card, and there is the front side of their card. And there's the little QR code. I'm not sure if you guys would be able to scan that or not. But that QR code says save 25%. So... You save 25% on your orders if you can scan that QR code. I'm not sure if it'll work. Probably not because my camera will not focus for you guys. So this is the bottle of juice that we will be reviewing today. This is a 15 mil bottle. Uh, we are going to talk about three different things. We're going to talk about bottle packaging, uh, vapor production, and uh, flavor. So, first off, uh, this one is called Kraken. Uh, I'll give you the flavor profile first before we do the uh, review. Uh, it says on my little cheat sheet here that it was sent along with it, it says this is an ultimate orange, very similar to the old crush, uh, old orange crush soda, infused with 100% natural orange a touch of nectarine and a hint of papaya and mango. This flavor will sure will be sure to satisfy and quench your thirst. Uh, I have been vaping this one a little bit today, and it's not bad. It's not bad. So we'll get to the flavor profile here uh, in a little bit. What I think of the flavor. So first off, bottle packaging. This is a 15 mil bottle. I believe they range about twelve dollars for a 15 mil on the website. Uh, glass bottle with the dripper child safety cap on the dripper which is nice not uh, many uh, juice companies are doing this uh, a lot of them will just put a plain dripper on there this one actually has the child safety so you can't actually take it off without pushing down and then turning it off like so and it's got the eyedropper in there as well Get that put back on because we don't need it open because I already have my RDA loaded up and ready to go. Uh, you have their logo right there on the front. It says Deep Blue Juice Company with the squid. On the side next to that, those are your nicotine selections. They have 0, 3, 6, 12, and 18. Uh, this is a 3 milligram. Uh, has the ingredients label along with their website. Right here on the side it has the name of the juice it says Kraken and it has a warning label next to that so bottle packaging for deep blue juice company uh, definitely a 10 out of 10 uh, definitely like their setup uh, and I really enjoy the glass bottles with the, with the with the eyedroppers they're very nice so definitely a 10 out of 10 on that alright so now we're going to talk about uh, vapor production and flavor let's start with vapor production we uh, today have it already loaded up in a Dark Horse RDA on my custom RT Vapes box mod that I just recently acquired. Uh, this is a great box mod. I will be doing a review on this shortly. Uh, it's supposed to have a logo on it, and I don't have the logo yet. Uh, it's being sent out to me, so uh, I might still do the review before I get the logo, uh, just to get the review done, but... We have it loaded up in here. We have a 0 0.8 ohm dual coil build in the Dark Horse. And uh, this is a, like I said, a dual 18650. So we are running, it's pulling at about a 7.7 .7, uh, volt. So go ahead and pop the side back on there and we'll go ahead and uh, give this a vape. Not bad. 
Not bad at all. I mean, this is going to chuck the vapor anyways because of the, the setup with this mod. With it being a dual 18650 unregulated box mod. So it's definitely going to chuck the vapor anyways. But uh, on a regular mod, like a uh, just a regular copper tube mod, it's still going to chuck the vapor really well. Um, definitely vapor production, I give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, all of their juices I've tried so far, uh, the vapor production has been top notch it's been perfect um flavor like i said it's like an orange crush uh flavor and according to the paper it says uh has hint of papaya and mango i don't get the papaya flavor but i do get the mango flavor along with the orange uh the orange is a little strong in my opinion uh it does overpower the papaya oh, not the papaya but the mango a little bit and uh, but you do get that aftertaste of mango as well um which is very nice so we'll give it another vape not bad not bad at all uh definitely an enjoyable flavor uh, if you like fruit flavors or any kind of uh it has a real fresh taste is what i like about it um but definitely it's a great juice easily could be an all-day vape uh, definitely, I enjoy this juice a lot. So we're going to give the flavor production uh, on this one also uh, a 10. So three tens across the board for uh, Deep Blue Juice Kraken uh, E-Juice. Here's their bottle again. Check them out, deepbluejuice.com. Uh, great, great company. Great bottle packaging, great flavor, and great uh, vapor production as well. So 10 out of 10 bottle packaging, 10 out of 10 on vapor production, and 10 out of 10 on flavor. So definitely check them out, deepbluejuice.com. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that like button down below and leave a comment in the comment section with any questions and concerns, and I'll do my best to get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. So until next time, this is Ledbetter17P. Keep on vaping.